uh, when we started off uh, Rahul, we uh, we had many people uh, in the team and we still continue to have those many people. Yes, they might not be the face for the media, but they are very much the faces, the think tank of the party. Uh, we have Prithvi Reddy uh, in Bangalore. We have uh, Mayank Gandhi and Anjali in uh, Mumbai. And I can give you the list. You named a the handful. Point. The point He's is, asking about Tamil Nadu. The there are 39 is, constituencies. Can you even name 39 party workers in Tamil Nadu? Can you, I Rahul, will, I will give to you, our viewers I, the names will, of 39 party you, workers in Tamil Nadu? You pick the seat, give us their names. But the other poll says 45 percent want to be prime minister. I will, I will tell you, Rahul. One second, let's me, hear from Rahul. I will tell you, Rahul. Uh, Rahul, allow me, allow me, allow me. Uh, Rahul, the issue is not about, and the, which is what I wanted to come down to, the issue is not about uh, individuals and, and personalities. We have all throughout talked about alternate politics and for us alternate no, politics also bike. means that we talk on issues and we okay, talk, yeah, we, you, you know, the, the agenda for others is to have the, to have the issues in the periphery. For us, our common man will be the one who will talk on issues by getting those issues in the focal point, making it the nucleus and the discourse of the Indian polity. And which is why you see that there is a connect. Because every other political party is individual centric, be it BJP, Congress, Same uh, is the Samaj case with Wadi, Amarmi Ma, party. You know, the BSP. People don't know anybody other than I'm sorry, I will cage reward. No, Veer Sangvi, come on. Despite is... having weak organizational <laughs> base, despite so having unknown candidates, is, is the, the Amarmi man... party was able to do well in Delhi. Can they, despite these weaknesses, do well nationally? Or is that inconceivable, Mr. Sangvi? Well, Rahul, I'll give you two instances from history. One is 1969 when the Congress split, the Congress saw, which was the entire organization went on one side. Indira Gandhi with a cast of unknowns went on the other side. They said, who is going to vote for this woman? She has no organization. She, she went on in 1971 to win by a landslide. The second example is 1977. When the Janta Party was formed right after the emergency, people said they've had four weeks, they've all been in jail, how will they organize anything? They again won by a landslide. When there is a wave, when people are fed up, when they want to vote for something, they don't care about organizations or whatever, they just go ahead and But the vote. one big and difference between 1971, yeah. 77 and now is that that time there was no third alternative, now you've got Modi. So as Absolutely. a counter to Congress, you've got Modi. That time as a counter to Indira Gandhi, there was no one else in 77. Therefore, the Janta Party did the way they did. But now you've got Modi who exists okay, as a credible is, alternative no, with no, a, a strong organization base. How do you respond? That's a reasonable, that's a re that's a reasonable argument, but you have to work out. I'm going to ignore the pollsters because I don't think the pollsters have ever got it right. But if you look at the available cephalogical evidence we have from Delhi, the vote for the Aam Admi Party seems not to be anything against the BJP. It seems to be an anti-Congress vote. It is entirely possible that there is an anti-Congress wave in the country and all of that vote is going to go to the Aam Admi Party. If that protest vote does go to the Aam Admi Party, it's not enough for the Aam Admi Party to win, but certainly destroys Modi's chances. But it, no, but Mr. Modi, the BJP has a credible leader today who has been announced seven, eight months ahead of elections, unlike in Delhi where this was done just a month before elections, number one. Number two, we have been in opposition for 15 years in Delhi and, and certainly our organization in Delhi is not the best. Compare this with Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan and many other states where we have a footprint, the BJP is much, much stronger. So the argument that, and, and another thing, it has taken 16 or 14 months for Aam Admi Party to fight in Delhi and to emerge as a second party with 29% vote. And you are talking about, and they have hardly two months. And I don't think, you see, we, are, we should only be talking about them as possibly as a spoiler in a number of cases. And my sense is <laughs> they would actually be a spoiler for the Congress because they themselves see Aam Admi Party emerging as a third alternative in areas where BJP and Congress are traditional Mira rivals Sanya, and I'll, we are very strong you're in all from areas. Mumbai and I want to put out the 2009 Lok Sabha election data uh, on our screen right now because in that election the 12 candidates put out by the MNS of Raj Thakre actually ended up helping. In fact, I can just go across to the screen and show our viewers uh, that graphic. Those candidates actually ended up helping 
um, the Congress NCP win in the seats of six seats of Mumbai seats uh, in areas around Mumbai take Mumbai South Central uh, the victory margin was 1.2 lakhs the MNS votes were 1.5 lakhs in Mumbai South Central the victory this margin is 75,000 you know, this MNS is votes I'm 1 lakh yeah. so the point that we're making through these figures is that the MNS vote share was more than the victory margin in these five seats of Mumbai. Let's come to the next graphic on this, please. And that reflects that the Aam Aadmi Party could also potentially, Yashwant, play a similar role. And also, Rahul, a uh, uh, much similar, uh, uh, much similar example would be in Andhra Pradesh, the Praja Rajyam Party. You know, the, they they split the anti-incumbency vote typically. And they made sure that the Congress wins. And at the end of the day, they actually merged with the Congress. So, what I'm trying to say is that Aam Admi, in Aam Admi, it's party's plan, the Congress might not be there. But in the Congress game plan, Aam Admi party is definitely very much there. And uh, I think uh, uh, even the Congress spokesperson are openly saying that they are happy with the Aam Admi party performance. So, whatever we are looking at this thing, is very much tactically true and possible. So just think about what Yashwant is saying for a moment. In these 11 seats of urban Maharashtra, around Mumbai, where MNS put up candidates, they won zero seats, they picked up 4.07% of the vote share. They actually helped the Congress NCP candidate win. In out of those 11 imagine seats, a 10 were won like by Congress Ram NCP, Naik. one was won by the BJP. Rahul, imagine a candidate like, popular candidate like Ram Naik, Mumbai Northeast, loses to Sanjay Nirupam by 3,000 votes and the, and the MNS candidate polls in 1.9 lakh votes. Which means I mean, if the MNS hadn't been there, Ram Naik would have walked away with that seat. Absolutely. And that is absolutely. a very, very interesting uh, piece of analysis that we've put out. I want to put that question to Ami Bain Yagnik. Uh, she's joining us on this broadcast because it seems that, you know, as Yashwan Deshmukh says, 